Hey guys, it's your homeboy, the one and only Great Dane, and as you can tell by the fact that I'm not wearing my green glowing headphones, today I'm trying to show you guys an interesting app I found. I'm doing this as a mobile recording, because I figured it would make more sense. So, the way the app I'm currently using is set up, I can only do either mic or game audio. I could technically do both without the um, earbuds, but it, this game's audio is literally just really loud music. I, I think it's personally a little too loud, but, you know, it's fine, I guess. The music fits the game, I think. It's like techno or something. Anyway, so, what the heck is this game? <laughs> so, you run around as this wacky spaceman dude, and it's an AR game, so for those of you that don't know, AR means augmented reality, and essentially, if I physically move around, let's see if I can turn these out what if I start walking around. Uh, it's, it's, the virtual world in this game is based on the real world, so in order to actually get the character to move, you do have to move quite a bit. I do have a little trick of my own to get around that, though, and I'll be talking about that a little bit later in the video. I won't try to keep this too long, so. I'm, I'm trying to remember what this game is even called. It's like Atlas something. So essentially how the game works is... You can apparently, or at least the ad claims, you can make real money from this game. And as of right now, I made one penny, which is not a lot. So the, the reason I play this game is I, I just think it's fun to be able to get virtual land and then brag about it because it's just different, you know? So... How this game works is essentially you can buy virtual parcels of land and I'm not sponsored first of all I don't want you guys to think that again I, I just think it's an interesting game to play but I'll be leaving the link in the description for you guys to try it for yourselves as you can see there it's a referral link so if you do it'll help me get free atlas books and if a bunch of people do it, maybe I'll make another update video on just how many Atlas bucks I got, and how many parcels of land. So, the first and most important thing I want to say about this game is, if you are doing this for the money, I highly recommend you do not spend money on this game. And that's because somebody else already did the math, I watched some videos, you will likely never get your money back if you put money into this game as an investment because the amount of uh, value the parcels generate is in so incredibly low as you can tell by the number in the top screen here so if I, I think, actually I think it is in the shop if I go to I'll find it eventually no it's not that yet I'll, I'll get to that in a second Maybe I just have to click on a parcel. Maybe it was by land. No, not, not quite. Okay. Maybe my cam is covering it. No, that's the feed of people buying parcels of land. Well, again, another thing I think makes this game very interesting is someone else is actually using this application you can see other people's parcels of land that are playing the game and see who owns it and stuff again i just think it's really cool oh God, where's the button i know there's no oh wait i think i have to click on yeah there it is so i just clicked on my own so i own three parcels one is epic which is why it has like flowers on it or something so as you can see generally if you spend like five bucks you make that much per second. Here, I'm trying to circle with my finger. It it will take you, like, 
literal years or something to ever get like your five bucks back just making this much per second. So again, if you're in it for, and, and I'm in it free to play, I highly suggest that you don't spend money on this. So if you don't spend money, how do you get the parcels of land then? So obviously, first of all, there is invite friends, which is going to get you the most. So if you guys download the link in the description, I'd get 10 Atlas books for every land that you buy after the t tutorial, apparently. And the tutorial, I think, gives you one free parcel of land. And I can get up to 100. And I'm pretty sure I use a referral as well, so once I get my 10th parcel of land, I should get 200 Atlas books for free. Which, and again, once you get your 10th parcel, again, if you're going to do this, you should use my link because it benefits you guys if you're in it for the long run. But, I recommend the passport badges. Anyway, but first of all, again, how do you get, get the land? Because they give you your first piece for free, so if you're not buying it, again, which I'm highly against here, even though it supports the developers, I guess, is you watch an at 20 minutes. So... <laughs> that again, you need a hundred to buy a plot of land, so deducting like eight hours for sleep or something, if you did it every 20 minutes, you could get about 50 per day just in ads, but that's kind of cumbersome, so the best thing you can do is, this is an AR game, so this circle around the spaceman is your um, area of reach, I guess you could say, so there's a diamond over there, but I can't quite reach it, again, um, I'll talk about a, another strategy if you can't physically find a way to get around in the world. But there's this tab called Hunt. And you get five spins on the diamond wheel per day. I won't do... I know it says three, but... You can get two more by watching ads again, and the ad revenue goes to the developers, which they can then use to actually pay people out. So the one thing you don't want to get on the wheel is the diamond, because that's essentially a waste of a spin. I won't go through with the extra two, just because I don't want to sit here and make you guys watch ads, because this video is priority too long. So, how do you get diamonds? They randomly spawn on the map, like, every, I want to say every 24 hours, I don't know the exact time but they do randomly spawn every day and you can if you have a data plan you can physically um, go around and collect them and that's basically the whole point of AR apps at least um, these world based ones so if you guys probably don't know but I don't even have a data plan so how on earth am I getting all these diamonds if this video and the next video I release, which are both about different Atlas games, which follow a general same concept here, if they both get 100 likes, I'll sh reveal to you the software I use to kind of cheat the games. It's not like you're going to get banned or anything. I mean, it's, it's not like they even really care either. It, it's just a way to use the feature of the game that I can't actually use, but I still enjoy the game, so I play it anyway. So, again, you buy parcels of land. I just, I just want to see how many I can get, honestly. I just think it's fun. And then another thing you can do is... I'd say only get one of these once you have ten parcels is... The more badges you get, the bigger your badge... Or, not badge, boost. Your boost to the parcels is, so... It'd be ten times the amount you gain for one parcel then an extra 5% to that, and the most you can get is up to 25%, where you need 101 badges, and assuming they all cost 200 Atlas books, that is roughly 2,000 Atlas books, I think, if I'm doing that math right. No, actually, wait, 20,000, I think, 20,000. Yeah, twenty twenty thousand. So again, that is an incredible amount. And obviously, if you like, it says you can even go up to nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine badges. After you have a hundred one badges, why would you bother buying any more badges when you could just buy the 
lands. Like, there's no benefit after that. I don't know why you would, unless you're just trying to show off that you have more badges or something. I don't even have any yet. And then there's also some weird thing where... Um, let me see if I can find it. I think I card... Yeah, there's this thing where apparently if you connect your card to the game and then you buy, like, from certain stores, you can get Atlas Bucks. So, I highly recommend you do this if you already buy from any of these. Again, it's a very specific offer, but it's nice that it exists, I guess. Because, you know, if you're doing it, why not get free Atlas Bucks if you're playing the game anyway? There's not too much more I can tell you guys about the game. So again, they have the feat of everyone getting their um, plots of lands or parcels. Then you have the leaderboards, and you'll see like there's the guy in first here just has so many, it's crazy. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that was one of the owners of the game or something. And then another thing you can do is you can watch ads to boost the amount you're making, which I, I, I don't do it too much because again i'm not like in this for the money necessarily i'd be interested to see how much i actually could make from this i i'm trying to think i think is if you own 10 parcels you can maybe make a few bucks a year and again to stress like you're not gonna make a lot of money from this but i do think it's fun i don't think there's really anything in the settings you'll obviously see have the music turned off again because i'm not a huge fan of the music in this game like it fits the game but i just feel like it's too loud um yeah that i don't think there's anything else really to show in this game again if you guys want to try it out for yourself i highly recommend using the referral link i'll put down in the description and i'm interested to see what you guys think and again, if this video and the next Atlas video I make receive 100 likes, I'll reveal to you how you guys can move around in this world without actually having to physically move. Because if not everybody has a data plan, I guess. I don't know. I don't. So, again, diamonds are your best pet. And um, something I should clarify quickly is I have quite a lot of Atlas books right now, and actually was something I wanted to do in this video was buy a plot of land. I'm, I'm hoping I can get a legendary on video. Probably not, but we'll see. And this is what happens if you buy a plot of land. This is my fourth one. Some, something wacky is happening. This very satisfying animation. Hey, we got better than common. That's nice. It's got some grass on it. Oh, that that is interesting. So, the rare has like a few flowers and grass on, and then the epic has like a, its own little rock or something. I, I it's just fun to like see it develop. But yeah, I, I enjoy this game a lot, and I don't want you guys to think like the diamond hunt wheel is rigged or something. I'm pretty sure it's completely random chance what you get. I've gotten fifty twice, and I've gotten the fifteen once, so it's definitely possible. But, again, I'm pretty sure it's random, but your best bet is getting these diamonds, and again, if you get this free 200 likes in the next one, I will show you guys how you can mess with these games and just help you um, get very far in them without actually having to do it the way it's supposed to be. And, of course, if you guys think that's messed up, you can just do it the way it's supposed to as well. Like, maybe you're going on a jog or whatever and get some diamonds, you know? It's fun. But yeah, enjoy the game a lot. Again, not sponsored. And if you guys enjoy it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to see the next video. Get it to 100 likes, and I will make another video following that, showing you guys the trick or strategy. And just keep in mind, it will be for Android because I use Android. I'm sure there's a way to do it on iOS too, though. And I think that's about everything. I'm trying to make sure I covered all the bases here. I'm sure this video is already probably too long. But that should be about it. The next video I, um, or sorry, the next game, I can do something a little more involved with the audience here. Because it has, like, clans. I think you guys will find it very interesting. Some of you might even want to hate on it, though. Uh, yeah, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day.
Bye, guys.